because you would say something like, oh my gosh, like I didn't love her the most. Yes. And I was like, you put that on, on Instagram? Yes. <laughs> and I was like, who is this girl that she's totally cool with her her man talking about he, he loved his ex more than her i'm like well, ah well well here's the thing and but she and explained it, it well and and i'll explain it yeah um a man can th the best relationship a man will ever be in yeah. is is has got to it can never be with the woman he loves the most let me repeat that the best relationship a man can ever be in can never be with the woman he loves the most. And the reason for that is because if you love a woman that much, you are you are unable to do and say what needs to be said and done. And so, Devin, I love her to the moon and back. But right off the top of my head, I can think of three other women that I have loved more than her. So as a girl, do you think we should go for guys that loved other women more than us? From the woman's wow. point of view, so like, wow, that's like, because I always think of it from the women, right? So if I'm yeah. if I'm going for a guy and he has an ex that I can tell he really really loved, mm -hmm. like, and is that is that a red flag or a green flag? Um, you know, I if you. <sighs> Jesus, that's a really good question. Well, the woman that I love the most was that crazy story I told yeah. you about the trailer park, right? Yeah. So Devin does not have to worry about, she does not have to worry about her. I think that's an interesting question. I think a lot of women would, a lot of women would love to think that the man that they're with loves them the most. But when it comes down to it, man, like, yes, men, we have egos and all that good stuff. But women, you guys have bigger egos than we do as far as the love game is concerned. Mm -hmm. So much, in fact, that if a man actually has the audacity to stick his dick in another chick, Oh my God, even though he takes care of me, you're the girls on Fresh and Fit. Mm -hmm. they, they ask him all the time. Okay, he's rich, he's ripped, he takes care of you, you're driving a G-Wagon, you, you know, you had a $5,000 allowance, you got American Express black cards you never have to want for anything. And if he cheats on you with a, if if he if he sleeps with another woman, oh my God, it's over. That the was, ego is so the ego is yeah. so big with women. That really. was the hardest thing for me to get over, too. That yeah. was really hard. Like, cause I don't know, I just grew up in a family where like Cheating. I, I know no one in the red pill believes me, but my dad. My well, it was dad's a different just, time. It was a different time, you know. Um, I don't know if necessarily it was a different time. This is your father. <laughs> what? This is your father. It was definitely a different. Well, time. I mean, but it was still the '70s or eight when they met. That's after free love, you know. What I mean? Like, oh my God, Jesus. Christ. You know what I mean? Or like uh, the '70s or '80s. It's not like. Well, yeah. my dad was born in '65, so they were like, tw he was like 20 something. So I don't know. Your dad was born in '65. Yeah, my dad. Yeah. Oh well, you're oh you're younger than me. Of course, my mom and dad are younger. Yeah. Than me. Okay. All right. Yeah. So my dad, my dad was like, what? You're 45. You said. I'm 45. My so, father is oh boy, 62 ish. Yeah. So my dad's like 55. Or oh something, yeah, 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 something. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, is it a different time if you're 45 and you experience sure like 10 yeah. years? You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. I don't, I just think like certain people i don't know what it was i think it's just better i think it's just better for a woman not to know uh the reason why i put it out there is because i want i wanted to impart upon people that yeah it's great if you love a woman and you do anything for her but that's not the woman you well, want to be and in we don't love with. them no like we don't love the guys that, that like loved would you do... the most yeah right. which is which is yeah, the one th that's a very good point. The woman you love the most will Won't not love, love you. you. Yeah, she and will never love you. And that's the experience. Like I've had, like the person I'm thinking of. It's like that. That's who. Like she. She dumped him. You know what I mean? There you go. But it's you like go. it's like the. I don't know. I feel like that guy will like never get over, you know? Yeah. That's, that's just now. Maybe not never because men and women, like when they look at their exes, I feel like it's different. How so? Like, okay. How do I put it? Like men that will value like if a girl's been there for like 10, 20 years. Yes. Where a girl, it's like if she misses an ex and like feels like her ex is the one that doesn't get over and she marries someone else, yep. like I think she's more likely to just f up her family and leave. Yep. Where the men, like they, I don't want to say they don't do that, but I, it's not as common. No, it's not nearly as common. I like I can't think of any story that that's happened but it's like all the leading love stories yeah. are women like titanic the notebook like women love those movies and it's both them effing it up yep. with the guy that loves them a lot like right. one girl was engaged the one girl and they both i mean i know the guy in titanic kind of was freaking out at the end yeah but, like, but but you see what i'm saying like yeah it's like the, both of them were in good situations yeah. screwed it up yep. for an ex and it's like why did so many women resonate with those movies well because it is because of the romanticism think about it um uh cal who was uh kate winslet's uh yeah. uh, uh, uh fiance 
He was he was a little old. He, he just he was a little older, but he was rich, right? Like she was taken care of. The heart of the ocean, diamond, and yeah. fifty six carats, and all that. And you know, Hollywood romanticizes. Hollywood romanticizes. Oh, you know the 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 young starving artist who's hot and blah 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 blah. Mm. Let's just say the Titanic did not go down. Let's say the Titanic did not go down. If Rose moves to New York with Jack Dawson, that would have fucked everything up. She Their marriage. She would have left. Him. She would have, dude. She, she would have left, left his ass, ass and gone right back to Cal. And Cal would have uh, said, "Fuck you. I got a I got a younger, hotter you." Yeah. So that was, dude. Titanic is total bullshit. That's what, okay. You know what's funny? Even as a kid, I hated Titanic. Did you? I, yes, because I thought. I mean, whenever I first saw it, I, I think I was over the age of twelve. So yeah. I don't know how old I was. Right. But I remember thinking like. Like, that Titanic and the notebook were both so stupid oh because God. I've always been me, you know what I mean? <laughs> so so I'm like, she wasn't in love with him, she was in lust. Like I yes. remember saying this to my friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> because I'm like, you knew him for like a couple days. Yep. And now you're screwing him in the car? Yeah. Like what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a mo it wasn't it like a Model T or something like that. And then she jumped on the boat for this man she's barely knows. It's ridiculous. Stay on your boat if you if she had let him go. She, he could have been on the on the wood. Titanic to me, Titanic. And by the way, they've diagrammed it, and he could have fed on the plank and all that. But he had to die, right? That, that's just how it is. Um, this is why people idolize Tupac so much. This is why people have a blind spot for Tupac, be, uh, Tupac because he's dead. Tupac was a simp in real life. He was a gangster on the mic, but he was a simp in real life. That's just what all there was to it. Jada Pinkett fell in love with who she thought Tupac was. That's why she never got over him. But. Uh, re you know, regarding the whole Jack and the, uh, the whole Jack and Rose situation, yeah, this woman was engaged to be married, had it great, cheats on him, cheats on him with this kid. If I'm Cal, I'm dude, I'm I'm pretty furious too. Like I put my name out there, I've 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 claimed you as my woman, and you're running around below decks dancing with this with with this American kid who came you know came from Old Perry. I'd be feeling some type of way too. Yeah. But and, and here's the thing. I'm glad that he was, I, I know he was pissed off at DiCaprio's character, but but he shouldn't have been. He should have been pissed off at the girl. Yeah. That's all there is to it. There's so many guys who, when they're when they find out their girl cheated on them, they misdirect their anger and they want to do something to the guy. Uh, my nigga, that's on your girl, man. Like that's all there is to it. Well, you shouldn't have hit on her, blah, 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 blah. Well, your girl was sending me choosing signals. And nine times out of ten, the bitch always tells the dudes they're fucking that they don't have a boyfriend. But the boyfriend still gets mad that she cheated. How am I supposed to know if she tells me I don't have a boyfriend? What am I supposed to do? No, I don't believe you. Let me see your phone. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah, she was she was the first 304. Oh yes, she was. Rose was the first hoe. She, yeah, yes. the first the first 304. Yeah, so, and her body count was two. At that point, two was a lot. She fucked uh, Cal and then she fucked Jack. Her body count was two. Well, she was a virgin when she met Cal. Remember? Oh, I I don't know. I've, oh yeah, I've, yeah. I've only seen the movie. Well, like, here's the thing. Remember ago. now. So remember, Jack ended up dying, right? Yeah. Cal, you know, obviously just d didn't want to be with her anymore. She ended up in New York City. With a body count of two. Tell me she didn't get around. You're right. Rose with the first hoe. 1912, y'all. Yeah. 1912.